looking for a unique dining experience and a good burger? Take your taste buds and time travel to Summersworth, where Phineas and Fanny Fuggins have you covered. My name is Miss Fanny, and I will be your host for today. We actually have a couple of specials. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I time travel. It's clear as soon as you step inside the 1886 train station that this isn't your typical burger joint. This is so cool. They get excited and we get excited because we, we play off of that excitement and also our food. I mean, Phineas Grill's the best fucking burger on the planet and that, that's clear. We started off as a food truck. Uh, we had Fuggin' Burger food truck, and, uh, and the whole theme of Fuggin' Burger was to be a, an 1880s, kind of a Wild West, uh, Victorian steampunk kind of a feel. Uh, when I did the food truck, I would dress up, um, and, uh, and I was really kind of concerned if people would even you know, be attracted to that down in Dover when we did it. Uh, they really were. The idea and the name date back even further than that. They come from a comic Eric did back in high school about a Wild West town named Fuggenberg. So I incorporated that into the comic and I made a character called Phineas Fuggen, who was the guy on the logo. And he ran this town called Fuggenberg and it has all these wild characters. And I thought, okay, well, it's Fuggenberg, Fuggenberger, that makes sense. I've got all these characters I can name the burgers after. From comic to truck to train station, Fuggenberger is no longer on the move, but firmly rooted in Summersworth. We found this place, and it's an 1886 Victorian train station. I mean, you can't find a place that would actually match our genre any better than this. The burgers, like the famous Fuggin' Burger, the flagship menu item that uses grilled cheese sandwiches for buns, still draws carnivores from all over the state. We have the best Fuggin' Burger on the planet, and the whole concept of that is uh, that our burgers are one half pound, uh, they're all uh, prime beef, uh, every one of them is custom seasoned by me and hand pressed, um, and Quite frankly, I'm, I'm pretty generous with it. That's a half pound post cooking. The point of the whole thing is that we try to really push the envelope of what a burger has, uh, put different toppings on there, and give people a really good, well-cooked, perfect burger every time that's going to really enhance, you know, really enhance their, their eating experience, basically. Burgers aren't the only brand being brought into the 21st century. Fanny also has her own line of boozy jams and jellies that she sells out of the station. Our hotshot whiskey pepper jelly has jalapenos, habaneros, and cubanos. Then we twist it with a fireball whiskey. Interestingly enough, I actually time travel. So we live in this wonderful, magical little town called Fuggenberg, USA. And I actually own a bakery and my wonderful husband is actually the meat. He has his little meat shop and that's where we met. And interestingly enough, one day I just appeared in 2018. So while I was here, I was like, Dude, I must make a living here. And that's when I decided to, uh, to do my jam and jellies. Some of Fanny's favorite flavors, bombed blueberry, strawberry daiquiri, pina colada, and raspberry chambord. Technically, the alcohol is cooked off. All of the um, all of the flavors are cooked up to 218 degrees. At that point, the, the alcohol is cooked off, and what's left is these beautiful libations that just mix so well with these berries and other fruits. Fanny works in her kitchen while Phineas smokes things up in his. But together, they put on quite a show and some great products to boot. Our love story is kind of a lot of this whole thing. Is the fact that. You know, I really didn't think I could do all this, and she's the one who really made me think I could. Well, you know, Phineas and Miss Fanny have been married for over 200 years back in Fuggenberg, USA. So after 200 years of being married, you know, you kind of get used to each other. And what's so wonderful is we both have this passion for culinary flavor, and that was really our commonality, and it also it what powers our marriage each and every day. As for Fuggenberg USA, the Fuggins have big plans for the future. I want us to have a place where that's going to be here for a long time, a place that's going to be a pl uh, where people come, where they bring their family, and then when they bring their kids. Uh, eventually, I, I, we hopefully we can pass this along to somebody, you know, because we're not getting any younger. 
And so we want this place to be a fixture here in Summersworth. We want to be a place that's going to actually attract and help revitalize down here. And, uh, and that's what Summersworth was hoping as well. That's the best part of what I do is the satisfaction on the customer's face when they take that first bite of my raspberry sham board. There's nothing more rewarding than that particular moment. And it's for it why I do everything that I do moving forward for the rest of my life.